All right, I'm back with a little bit more debauchery. So before we had the uh, PS Freedom uh, image on this G1 here, PS Freedom. Now it's on. I just reflashed it to uh, recovery image in the terminal to 1.1.2, and that is the Hermes payload, which means when you do no Blu-ray emulation. Uh, you won't have to have a disk in the drive, supposedly. So unlike the last image I flashed with, 1.1.2 onto the uh, that, that PS Freedom recovery onto the G1, and uh, we'll see what happens. So I just loaded the old PS3 up off the uh, recovery, went to the uh, backup manager, did all that good stuff. So let's see. Now there's no disk in the drive. Nothing. Let's see if it will do. What it usually does. So what it does is it tries to load the disk. You get a little error code in the corner here, or a little. You know, PS3 is thinking it's going back to the menu, the XMB, and you scroll up to where your DVD would be, and it should be. Doing preparing trophies for some I've ever played this game. Hopefully it's uh, just gonna be quick. You know, PS and there it goes. All right, Tachi. Yeah, let's get it all in there. Well, there it goes. <sighs> Loading with no disc in the drive. And yeah, this is Aragorn's quest. Brand new. This game uses auto save. Okay, great. Yeah. Maybe. And just to just to show you, here's the Tachi. There it is. Here's the other cord coming down. This is my PS Freedom. Hermes. Hermes Blu-ray. No Blu-ray emulation selected. PS Freedom. Dream Image. 1.1.2. Only for 3.41 firmware on your PS3. And let's see what happens if I hit the eject button. Live. Nothing. See? No disc. Game still playing. 